grief-stricken mothers of more than 200 kidnapped Nigerian schoolgirls come together for support, <laughs> demanding a speedy intervention from their government. They came to Chibok Secondary School pleading Nigerian forces to step up their efforts to bring their children home safely. This as Nigerian President Goodluck Jonathan pledges to find them. At the same time, thanking delegates for attending the World Economic Forum in the capital of Abuja. If you had refused to come because of fear, the terrorists would have jubilated and even would have committed more havoc. But you are coming here to support us morally. It's a major blow on the terrorists. And by God's grace, we'll conquer the terrorists. Nigeria's capital is in a virtual lockdown while the conference continues. Kicked out of their protest venue, this group, campaigning for the girls' release, say they will continue despite the lockdown. Um, the battle to salvage our country from Boko Haram and corruption is a battle of no retreat, no surrender. No amount of intimidation, harassment, arrest or rearrest will detract our attention from championing this um, um, democratic cause. Boko Haram's leader has threatened to sell the girls on the market which, the United Nations warns, would make the perpetrators liable for war crimes.